A rude awakening. We begin tonight with a Nevada County man recovering after a giant pine tree came crashing through his roof, pinning him down as he lay in bed this morning. The tree was being cut down when it fell in the wrong direction. Thanks so much for joining us at 10 o'clock. I'm Elizabeth Kling. And I'm Tony Lopez. The news is also streaming live on CBS and Sacramento. CBS 13 Steve Large is live at Alta Sierra neighborhood with the damage, Steve. And the firefighters say this guy is so lucky here. Yeah, this is a matter of life and death separated by just a matter of inches. Had this tree fallen just slightly differently, this man could have been crushed to death while lying in his own bed. The 150 foot tall, five foot wide pine tree is still laying inside the bedroom of this Alta Sierra home. The gaping hole in the roof exposing beams and debris that came crashing down all of it on top of a man laying in his bed Tuesday morning. Additional response for medical bill trapped under a tree. Dispatch audio describes the Nevada County Consolidated District Fire Department's response to the call. Firmly, you want to use our equipment or would you like to stop by 88 and grab the large animal rescue equipment? The man was alert as firefighters finally freed him using a basket scoop to get him out of the home. And I hear this. Boom! And I, I felt the house shake a little bit. Neighbors Libby Zuniga and Laura Rose McLeod heard the tree crashing down. A tree feller had been trying to cut down the massive tree after it was diagnosed as diseased when something went wrong. It's cut in half. I mean, the whole back end of it, that tree went, it sliced it all the way down. It didn't, it just went all the way down. It didn't stop and part of it crumble or whatever. It just like severed it. This terrifying scene turned into an incredible story of survival. He sure has a story to tell. The fire department says incredibly this man was alert and calm throughout the entire rescue operation. They say he has moderate injuries to his legs and he'll be okay. Wow, what an ordeal. All right, thanks, Steve.